Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a comparison video with my Chanel Jumbo in the single flap versus the Hermes Birkin in the 30 size. So I'll give you a close up of each and then I'm going to get into how much each weighs, the size and dimensions, and which bag holds more. At the very tail end of the video, I will also throw in some mod shots. So here again is the Jumbo in the single flap version which has been discontinued, as many of you know. It has the ease of the single flap, so I don't have to be bothered with the double flap on the inside. I have removed the organizer for the sake of this video because my organizer for the Birkin hasn't arrived yet, so I just wanted to compare apples to apples. So this is completely empty. It's got one large open compartment here, and then it has the zippered compartment as well, which is very, very roomy and expands all the way from end to end. And this is in the black caviar with the silver hardware, and it does have the flat CC, which I think looks beautiful. And then of course you've got the really roomy back pocket with the Mona Lisa smile. And this is quite a large bag, but it may look small compared to the Birkin 30 size. So this is going to be slightly larger. This is the Birkin in gold. Gold is the color. And then the Togo leather. And I have the palladium silver hardware. And it has the beautiful white stitching. Here is the inside. Again, no organizer at the moment. So empty, here's an open pocket, and then there is a zippered compartment in the back as well, which also expands from end to end pretty much. So it is quite roomy and fits passports and other items if you're traveling with the bag. I did do um, a couple of videos uh, speaking about my Birkin and the process of getting this Birkin in the boutique and I did a Q&A so if you miss that I will link it up above and of course I did a bunch of videos on my jumbo so I'll link all those relevant videos either throughout or down below in my description box so for starters I'm going to weigh this bag which I did already but it might be helpful to have them side by side so let's start with the Birkin So there's my little trusty scale. And there you can see that the Birkin is coming in at one pound, 15.7 ounces. So just shy of two pounds, which is great for me because I always say I don't like to have any kind of bags that are over two pounds in weight because they get quite heavy and they hurt my shoulder and neck. So yeah, it is just shy of two pounds. It makes the cutoff. And then the jumbo, again, keep in mind, this is the single flap, which is lighter than the double flap version. And that one here comes in at one pound, 12.6 ounces. So it's going to be uh, roughly about three ounces lighter than the Birkin 30 size. Now, if you go for the Birkin 25, of course, you're saving some weight with less leather and it's going to be even lighter. But I personally love this size. I feel like it is the Goldilocks size of all the Birkins. I feel like it's perfect. Okay, so there we have the weight. Let me show you a side by side of the size dimensions. So this way, you will see here that the Birkin 30 is uh, has more of a triangular shape to it at the bottom. So you can see here, I mean, obviously it opens up, but if you cinch it, especially if you were to close this, it has a bit of a, a triangular shape to it. So the bottom of the base is going to be larger or wider than the jumbo. Let's see if I can give you a close up here, but you can see that the width on the sides on the Birkin is considerably considerably uh, roomier then we're gonna go from this angle here Let's see if I can do this obviously we have to ignore the handles but let me see if I can do it this way okay so if you hold it up like this they're both touching the bottom of my palms here the bottom of my my hands so I would say that the height of the bags the Birkin is slightly taller especially from the front as you can see here so overall the Birkin 30 is 
definitely a bigger bag. And in terms of how much the bags hold, I'm going to do a proper what's in my bag with my Birkin very soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider doing so, so you don't miss any videos. I've done a few already with the Jumbo. Like I said, I'll link those videos down below in my description box. But let me just show you a couple of items just to see how they look inside so you can get an idea. For example, I've got my toiletry 26, which apparently has not really been discontinued. Now I'm hearing um, from multiple sources that you can actually find these still in the boutiques, but they're just not available online anymore. As we know from several weeks ago, they pulled them from the Louis Vuitton website, but my essay as well as other essays and other sources here that have shared have stated that these toiletries are available in the boutique at very limited quantities, but you'd have to find them in the stores versus online. Anyway, I digress. So this is quite large, right? It's the 26 size. It is the largest of the toiletry pouches, but it actually slips right in. Let me just tuck in the little tail. So it tucks right in and even if I were to close up the Birkin, which I wouldn't do because it's quite fussy, I feel like it would be fine. It would close up without a problem or maybe it might be a little bit snug, but it basically fits. Now, because this has the height, it fits like this. If you hold it up, it barely peeks out. If you were to try this on the Birkin, oh, excuse me, on the Jumbo, because it doesn't have that extra height, it's not going to fit as well. As you can see, it peeks out quite a bit. And because this is a flap style, it's not going to close easily. In fact, you'd probably start to risk damaging the integrity of the structure if you squish it down. So I would not recommend putting such a large item in the jumbo. Then we've got a standard size magazine. Oh, I love Audrey Hepburn. This magazine is like all about her life. It's celebrating her life. Um, so if you put this in the Birkin 30, very easy, especially if you're using this as a travel bag and you're in the airports and you want some reading material, very, very easy. Again, I do think it would close up nicely maybe a little bit snug, but you can see there's some room there. Whereas if I wanted to put this in the jumbo, again, it peeks out and you can kind of have it curl since it's a bit more flexible than let's say the toiletry, you can still close it, right? Because the magazine is bending, but it's probably pushing up at the top of the inner flap. So I don't know if I would recommend that. So the height does make a little bit of a difference, as you can see with these larger items. And then I'm going to show you just like a book I'm reading. I just started reading this book. And look at how much room there is on the inside of the Birkin 30. There is so much space, even with a book inside. And then in comparison, if I were to put it in the jumbo, there is still quite a bit of space, but not nearly as much space as the Birkin 30 that you just saw. And also if you have the double flap or you if you go for the jumbo double flap, you're going to have a little bit less space because that extra flap is going to uh, take up some of that space inside. So the single flaps are lighter and also roomier than the double flap versions. Then I've got this. I've just literally just grabbed a bunch of different items to show you because I think it might be helpful to see again quite a bit of space there. Let me grab the book again, just so you can see. Do you see that? It's like, it's just, it's a hole, it's a big hole. And then again, with the jumbo cosmetic pouch in the PM size. Yep, still plenty of space, but not nearly as much as the Birkin again. So again, I'll put the book in as well. And now it's getting kind of snug. So I wouldn't put anything else, you know, back here. But you can certainly put some items on the sides. Whereas with the Birkin 30, you can put a lot more items in, even with these two items already placed there. 
So then let me show you continental size wallet. I don't know if these are going to be coming back more. I've been using my card holders um, and smaller little pouches such as this one here, my mini O case from Chanel. Been using this as a wallet. This I have not been using very often. I did a video recently talking about my least used luxury items and whether or not I regret the purchases or not. Um, I'll link that up above if you missed it. Seems to have been it's garnering a lot of interest. I guess it's helpful to hear different perspectives on what we are using and what we're not using and what we might regret. But I wonder if the larger wallets are coming back because the big bags seem to be coming back. So they're again inside the Birkin 30. <laughs> so roomy even with a large continental size wallet. And then in the jumbo. By the way, I put up a poll on my Instagram, not my Instagram, on my YouTube community page see that's how it looks there and I asked do you think big bags are coming back and 64% of you said yes they're coming back and 36% of you said no they're not coming back and then the comments were really interesting many of you said big bags were never they had never gone away um, they were just kind of tucked away in our closets and others were saying no mini bags forever I love mini bags some of you were saying you're sick of mini bags I don't like the mini mini bags where they're pretty, you know, non-functional and you can't really put anything in there. Your essentials don't fit. I don't have any bags like that where my phone and my keys and wallet wouldn't fit. Um, but I do think like big, big bags, bigger than usual are coming back. Okay, let me see if I can do some mod shots and then I'll close out the video. Hopefully this has been helpful so far. Okay, so here I'm standing in front of my bedroom mirror dressed very casual, jeans, black t-shirt, some socks, nothing fancy or glam ha happening right now. Um, just wanted to show you how this Birkin 30 looks. Against my frame, I am about five feet, six inches tall and about 115 pounds. And let me see if I can do this without shaking the camera too much. This is how the Birkin 30 looks on me. Crook of the arm. and just handheld like this. By the way, I do have some Hermes goodies that I'm gonna be unboxing soon, so stay tuned for that. And there is my jumbo waiting patiently, so let me put down work in there. So here's the jumbo on in the crook of my arm and then this is what it looks like on my shoulder. So there they are side by side somewhat. Birkin 30, jumbo, so you can see the Birkin is definitely taller and bigger overall. They have totally different looks, totally different ways of wearing them. This one here is obviously top handle. And this one here has a longer chain. But Hopefully this is helpful. If you're deciding between a Birkin 30 and a Jumbo, um, I think it will really depend on which look you like best and what feels most comfortable against your body. And also if you prefer the top handle or if you prefer over the shoulder. Those are probably the main differences um, aside from the aesthetics. And there is a price difference too, but it's not that significant of a price difference given that Chanel's price increases have been kind of crazy. So there's going to be a couple thousand dollar difference between the two, but the gap is definitely closing. 
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. I'll try my best to get to them. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the fun. Thanks so much. Bye.